Hi and welcome back to uh, Roy's the Boy. This is uh, part four of my five pound mower restoration and today we're going to attempt to uh, check out the electric star on the engine uh, hopefully get that up and running and also I'm going to sand back and get prepped everything for spraying and all the metal parts which I need to do. So it's not waste any time, let's go and do it. Alright, okay, so first things I did find the uh, old battery I had. Uh, don't know if it's any good really. So the first thing I've got I need to do though is there's a the positive terminal has broken off of there. So what I need to do now is I'm gonna take this clip, it's actually broken from there, so I'm gonna try and solder it directly onto there. So let's get this soldering iron out. The first thing I want to do is see if I can take this bit off. I set off easy enough. And the second thing is, I'm going to try and just grind that terminal down a bit, clean that rust off. Right. Okay. First, we're going to put some solder onto there. Just going to put a tiny bit of a uh, flux onto it to help with your good contact so that should be enough and then try and solder this put some solder into it I'm put a nice big bundle on it because it needs to have a good strong connection okay let's bend this over that's it Gonna take a little bit of time just to get that into there. Okay, that's it. Seems like it's got a good connection there in it. Okay, just go and get the multimeter and see if there's any reading in this battery whatsoever. Right, okay. Uh, the battery on the um, lawnmower uh, it is not any good. So I've tried a alternative battery on it, uh, set it up, and it's completely working properly on that so the starter motor on it does work all the electrics work so that's another good thing for this project so right starting to clean some metal work then uh, your stickers these are really really they're not too, oh they're not too bad I have been soaking them in some stuff I use um, which is called Google it's really good for getting these stickers off if you take off the um, original labels off if they're really really bad or if they're anything like this all i'll do is i'll get some of this goo gone you don't need a lot put it on there and then just rub it into it like that we'll give it another bit and then i'll just leave it for a bit let it soak into it 
I'm going to go in there indoors now and I'm going to go and have some lunch and I will let this soak in and then when we come back we will see how easy it comes off right okay this has now been soaking just for about half an hour so all I'm, gonna use, I'm just using an old ruler it's no good really it doesn't really give you much measurement so I'm just gently scraping it away and it, see how easy this sticky stuff just comes off it doesn't take much it's a very good little product that it's called goo gone it also gets off um, crowns from walls uh, chewing gum from carpets or in clothes or even kids hair see scrape that off even without scratching much very good product a little bit more there that's virtually gone Yeah, look, it's brought that virtually back to what the paint was in the first place. Can't be bad. So, that's what it's called. Gugom. Citrus Power. Yeah, gummy mess, crayon marks, stickers, and you can even use it in pre-wash for laundry. So if you've got lipstick on your collar, you can soon get it wrong. Get it off, I mean. <laughs> right. Sanding. Now all I normally do is I just use a little bit of a sanding block. I normally use the um, sponge ones, but I don't have any left. And it's really, I don't take all the paint off. That's normally a bit too much for what I normally do, so I won't be scraping it that hard. No, that's doing too much for what I want. That's better. It's only so that um, the paint or even prime can just attach itself to it. That's all it is. It's just to give that rough edge. Yeah, I wish I had some of these sanding blocks that I normally use. These, these ain't really doing the job. Let's go see if I've got anything else alternately. Alright, okay. It's times like this, I wish I could afford a uh, sandblaster, which would be a lot better. That's a lot better. Let's get my fingers into it. As you can see, I'm using like protective gloves, really. I don't want to ruin my fingers. You want to time lapse while I'm doing this. Enough that's doing it in time lapse. I ain't quite figured out this new camera yet. Most of this 
coil cover you, you, you ain't really gonna see so I think what I'm gonna basically do is just do the bits that I really need perfectly I'm going to finish this and come back all right, okay all right I've done it the most I've done I can all I'm doing now I'm using a, a wet wipe decreasing wet wipe just to get rid of all the uh, the dust the dirt off of this I've taken it back really as much as I really I think need to what I would normally do okay get another one just to another initial clean good and what I will do on some some of the rust I can't get to so I'm going to use some rust eater to get rid of the, the rest in the places where I couldn't do it and that, that will be fine still get dust off even after using those wipes it just goes to show you how much there is here on it okay right well this is the stuff I'm going to be using is hammerite crust they call it it's just like vac tan it's just to say it does the same job I'm going to put some of that on it because there are places where I can't get the sandpaper into to clean properly and let's go and get myself a paintbrush all right okay what you do is just dip it in spread it around don't worry if it goes on the other paint bits There's plenty on there. it into the places that you can't reach and you should see that eating into that rush straight away really Too much on there, See places inside there. They've been in there. So that's that done, and we'll leave that. Let's do that bit as well. Try and get most of this off. Probably give it a nice little fine rub down before I spray it in case this uh, rust heat has gone a bit too thick in places. Alright, that's it. That'll do for that. Alright, okay. 
Now these two bars here, these aren't too bad. These are one come off the um, the second mower, and the only bits that stick out of the mower are these two. Part, this part here, up to where my finger is, and there is nothing wrong with those whatsoever. So I'm not, I'm not going to do anything to those. I've just given them a good clean. So those those bits there are okay. Um, I've just dropped one down on the floor. I've done the front axle. I've put some vac tan on that, and this is the. Let's lift it up a bit. That's it. This is the rear axle. This one ain't too bad. Apart from a little bit of there, I'm going to give that a rub down and just put some vac tan on that. Uh, and on the other side, and I'll put, just spray some hammer up paint onto that, and that will do that. I know you can spray uh, you can spray hammer wrap paint straight onto rust, but I'd rather get rid of that little bit of rust. So we we do that now. It's got a bit dirty that side. What I might do is use my angle grinding flap disc onto that bit, I think. That will sort that out. So I'll do that off camera because of the noise. And also, this goes through the, the rear for the quick release handles. So I will just give that a little and then I will just oil that right so I'm going to get to do these bits and then uh, I'll show you how they come up uh, that's those bits done that's the uh, the bar that holds the uh, handles on I've given that a good clean and I've put the anti uh, the crust uh, rust eater stuff on I've even done the blade off as I was at it I've even sharpened the blade so it's got a nice sharp blade onto it as well and also the cover for which is on top of the carburetor that has been done and sanded down and also the rear axle has been done as well as the front's been done so that's them bits done at the moment uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any more today if I do you will see it on the video what I'm going to do with some of these bolts inside here some of these bolts and uh, bits have got a rust on I think I'm going to stick those in vinegar and leave those over for a little bit just, just to clear them up really because some of these bolts are on the outside so you can see them so it would be nice if they're nice and clean as well anyway so I will be doing those all right these handlebars um, they have got loads of paint scratches and rust so I am going to be painting these so I'm going to take all these apart looks like I need another spanner on there okay that's all those taken off it was a bit tricky I did one I've took some pictures of it uh, just to make sure now these are all already split so let's take those off that's it. I might not even put any rubbers back onto these I think they're only there just for a luxury really so I'll cut the underside so if it does scratch the, the bottom, you won't see it. See, the top of it here, there. That looks good as new. But I am going to sand them down, and I am going to completely respray these handlebars and these parts. 
So that's the top of those ones. And also, I do have the ring front of me. Which I need some Philips head screwdrivers. You probably see me uh, camera shaking a little bit. But even though, even though I'm inside my workshop here, I am getting wind in. These brackets here I'm taking off, these, these are actually just for the cables. do with these, I just put this up against my uh, workbench and the wall and it's just fine, very really fine just to get some of that rust off the light paint work just to give it that rough edge it's just so that some paint can attach to it I wouldn't normally do this for every single lawnmower I do, but because I'm, this is a, a restoration one, I'm doing it so I'm, I'm going to spray it. So I'll do these. Now, that's the end. The bar's done. Both sides. Sand them down as much as I really want want them to be. Um, just apart from this little bit here that I've just seen. Just noticed that bit. I missed a bit. Right. I will give those a a little clean and ready for um, painting on the next episode. Okay, so I think that was uh, quite a productive time on what I managed to get done. I'm really happy the uh, electric start is all working and running fine. Uh, using the alternative battery did work. Uh, and I'm also happy that I have managed to sand down and prep everything for the spraying which will be on the next episode but before I do that I do need to go and buy some more spray paint uh, as I had less than what I thought I did. I do have um, spray paint equipment but uh, I've never really done it before or know how to really do the mixing of it so I need to look up on that before I can do any of that but anyway now that's all uh, done on one side I need to make a big shout out and a big thank you to Mix Mowers as, as you notice I've got a new intro and a new logo for my stickers and he actually done both of them for me and he's not only also done that, he's also been on the phone with me because I put the new editing software which is for the GoPro. Uh, I didn't have a clue how to do it and he's on the phone to me going through it step by step and being very very patient and I really do appreciate that. Go and watch his channel, um, he is a good bloke and thank you Mick once again. So that's enough of this episode and until next time, cheerio.